on. Oh my, what is that? The overhead light was fixed. Now, uh, we thought it was the ballast, but it wasn't. Uh, and my dad's in town, and uh, my dad always said, you can accomplish anything uh, you set your mind to as long as you hire the right people. So, <clears throat> we got an electrician, and uh, he took a look at it, and uh, determined it wasn't the ballast. Actually, my dad uh, was right. He didn't think it was the ballast, and he's not even an electrician, but he was right. He thought it, would, it was a switch inside the one of these uh, light switches in here. Something in there made it that the light didn't work. So we had that taken care of, so we're all set. Um, my dad's a good man. Now, I will not be making videos for a few days because um, the wife and I are finally going to get to have a honeymoon. It is our uh, five-year wedding anniversary. Hey, is it five years? Yeah. It's our five-year wedding anniversary. This summer. This summer, but uh, we planned it uh, because my parents are in town and they're going to watch the house and they're going to watch the little man. So we planned it so that uh, we could go on a honeymoon. So we're going to be going to uh, Key West to Florida, and uh, we're not going to be bringing any computers or anything like that with us. Uh, no electronics, but, um, well, that's not exactly true. I will be bringing my camera, but I will not be able to upload any videos. But when I get back, I will be uploading uh, videos of our uh, adventures down there, and hopefully we'll have a, a great time, and uh, I will share some of that you guys. Um, I hope you guys liked the zoo video. That was kind of funny. And I like the, I like Andreas's safe video too. And, and he, he's getting ready to be a dad. So uh, I'm excited about that. He's going to have a son too. Uh, but you know, uh, when you go on a trip, uh, it's a good thing to review some stuff too, to, you know, in the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take with, uh, take this with me. This is a, uh, this is called a uh, Spec Ops uh, brand uh, pack rat, and it is a uh, drop uh, organizer, uh, drop-in organizer that is um, very good for EDC use and uh, very good for uh, man purse purposes, mercies. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> as you can see, you can. Uh, add a strap to this which I will be doing uh, but I'm not going to do that in uh, in this video because this is really just a uh, a chat video not so much a gear review video but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be bringing with me uh, when I go to Florida uh, for my needs so I'll just uh, uh, give you just a kind of like a overview of the thing now and then uh, when I get back I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys how it how it worked for me but Let's just let's just take a little look at it here. All right, get the tripod up. As you can see, it's got nice big zippers on it, and it's got about um, you know like 14 compartments or something like that in it, and it's big enough to get a book. This is some light reading here for my trip. Uh, I'll probably uh, review this on my other Disaster Nut channel because this is yeah. Another one of those great books that everyone should read, just like Amanda Ripley's Unthinkable. Um, but this this thing's really good, <laughs> and uh, there's actually a chapter on plane crashes here and how to survive those, uh, and that's just great when you're flying tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, uh, this is just what I'm going to basically be bringing with me because. As you know, the TSA won't allow me to bring on all my goodies, so I'll have to st I'll have to strip this sucker down. But I like that there's lots of different compartments in here. Here's the main compartment here. Actually, this is becoming a review, isn't it? Off the cuff. All right, and there's my little. All right, 
little batteries, battery holder that I got from Battery Space. You guys remember that, right? Okay. I'm not using my uh, rechargeable stuff because I'll be traveling and then, you know, if I use them up, I don't, I don't want to carry them back and all that stuff. Save weight. <clears throat> and then, you know, you never know. Someone could drop dead on the beach or something, you know. And you have to administer CPR. So I got my little uh, little CPR um, mask here that I can use. Yes, I am certified. Um, another little pocket there. Pocket there. Pocket there. Isn't it nice to have an overhead light? I like that. And here's a little uh, keychain thing that you can use. I put a little uh, whistle on here so that, you know, I can... Uh, blow this and somebody will bring me a corona and then I have a little flashlight in here in one of these holders here I always, I always have to have a flashlight would you and some pens obviously and uh, you know for going out fancy evenings you'll spill and stuff like that me being me so you got a liquid tight pen there um, and then I put some you can actually put, you know, your business cards in here. But what I did is I, I put on, put in all my uh, little band aids and stuff here, just in case. You never know your minor scrapes and stuff. There's another nice pocket here and a big pocket in the back. So that's what I'll be bringing with me. Um, and on the front, it's great because you can just open this up and you can just. What I'll be I'll doing is I'll, you know, I'll be putting my travel documents or or uh, my uh, cell phones in here. And on the back, there's another big compartment here. And I got this on sale at Spec Ops brand. They might still have it. They were having a sale on the tanned ones. Uh, you can, that's the, I don't know if you can see the website there or not, because I'm using my flip menu and not the uh, the one, uh, not my ZI8 that has the uh, up close uh, view viewer. But, um, yep, yeah, this one is, they're made in America. And uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I always try to support, support the American worker, but uh, uh, I've just been using this on and off as my EDC carrier, and it's great, and I love it. Uh, but I'm really going to get a uh, good use of it uh, traveling around and see how it works. And um, like I said, I'll be putting a strap on it, a carrying strap, so that I can use it. But uh, it, that's... That's what it that's what it looks like, and it's uh, made out of super tough uh, 1000D Cordura um, nylon, whatever that means. But you guys that are into tactical gear, you probably uh, know what that is. But so far, I like it. But when I get back, I'll uh, I'll let you guys know how uh, how it worked for me. So going on vacation and. Uh, Stay tuned, I'll get some videos up when I uh, come back. Have a good one.